Shalom all, this is your brother Martin, and uh, decided to make a video today because, well, the election was yesterday, seems like everybody's commenting on it, and I didn't think I had to comment on it, but we found something really interesting in a Bible study today, and I wanted to tell you about it. Now, of course, um, <clears throat> there are others who use the Bible codes to try and predict this election. Um, Brother Chris, over at Bible Code Theory Research, uh, prior to the election, predicted a Trump victory. And, well, you always tells his prophets what's going to happen in advance. So, in this case, uh, Chris uh, correctly predicted that Trump would be the victor prior to the election. Now, uh, there are other code searchers who have also made election predictions. I didn't really watch their videos. And I didn't make an election video because, uh, as you might know if you've watched the other videos on my channel, if you look at the first video I did on the eclipse, I had said that judgment was sealed. Um, <clears throat> so... Although things might happen with slightly different timing and maybe in different order, um, who we <laughs> pick as president doesn't change the outcome because the judgment is already sealed. Um, and so I think part of this um, election is set up for deception, and I had covered that in my last couple videos. But one of my sisters took um, the, uh, the 45 and the 47 and looked at the Hebrew word for 45, 47, which is not uncommon to do, and found out that it was the word highway, and that it was only used once in the Bible in Isaiah 35, 8. And I will read this in the context in a minute. Uh, but again, if you look in the Hebrew Strongs, you'll see Mazlul means highway, and pretty much it doesn't have any other meanings. It's just highway. Um, <clears throat> so I wanted to read from Isaiah 35 because it seems very, very fitting. Uh, because the reason I made my first Fear Not video was in a couple of the, the two videos before that, I was talking about, you know, Chinese invasion, nukes, all kinds of scary stuff. And I wanted to... Uh, make you understand that the enemy is going to try and get you to be afraid and think that they make you think that they can take your life, but they can't because the Messiah died for you so you would have eternal life. And so um, Isaiah 35 speaks to those that endure uh, the, what is to come. And so I'll just read it for you and maybe comment here, because uh, I said that the elect would be removed and then come back to be the workers of the harvest. And verses 3, 4, and 5 in here are essentially the uh, assignment to the elect in during the harvest. So this is a really interesting um, chapter of Isaiah uh, for this highway term to be uh, part of. So let me read it for you. Let the wilderness and the dry place be glad for them, and let the desert rejoice and blossom as the rose. It blossoms much and rejoices, even with joy and singing. The esteem of Lebanon shall be given to it, the excellence of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the esteem of Yahuwah, the excellency of our Elohim. Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the weak knees. Say to those with anxious heart, be strong, do not fear. See? Fear not. See, your Elohim comes with vengeance, with the recompense of Elohim. He is coming to save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf be opened. Then the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongue of the dumb sing, because water shall burst forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. And the parched ground shall become a pool, and the thirsty land springs of water. In the home for jackals, where each lay, grass with reeds and rushes, and there shall be a highway, that's that word, 
and a way, and it shall be called the way of set-apartness, or the Kodesh way, which is probably what this is in the footnotes. Um, the unclean does not pass over it, but it is for those who walk the way and no fools wander on it. No lion is there, nor any ravenous beast go up on it. It is not found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. The redeemed and the ransomed of Yahuwah shall return and enter Zion with singing, with everlasting joy on their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness and sorrow and and sighing shall flee away. So, I hope this is a blessing to you in my reading it. And I should point out who ransomed you. It was Yahuwah in the form of a man named Yeshua, who was crucified, arose on the third day, and is now esteemed with the name Yahusha, those that the Christians call Jesus Christ. This election is the next step in the harvest that is to come where those who are redeemed of Yahuwah shall return and spend the thousand years in Yahuwah Shema prior to the final judgment and then be given life everlasting. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And with that, brothers and sisters, I'll say shalom, and I'll see you in the next video.